Welcome to day five of Brugmas. Today I'm going to be talking about Backrooms level 56, aka Frostbite. This level is perfect for Christmas time because it's freezing cold here. Yeah, that's the only reason it's perfect, I guess. Thank you for watching and let's get into it, shall we? Brugly merch is out. Click the top link in the description to grab some cool merch. If you get some, you're guaranteed to be sent to the Backrooms. So Backrooms level 56 is very dangerous, of course it is, but it's classified as a class 5E difficulty, which means that it's unsafe and unsecure, and the climate itself is very dangerous. The level is actually made up of a cave system that's made up of rocks and ice. The actual cave layout is kind of a circle swirl type shape that leads to a larger center area. It's a pretty simple concept, the closer you get to this center area, the colder and more dangerous it gets. The ice here on the cave is smooth, and it's all a light blue color. There's actually a light coming from an unknown source that shines behind it, so the light will then get diffused by the ice, and then it'll cause there to be a bluish glow on the floor cave. And on this floor cave is where most of the rocks and puddles are, and everything here is just rocky and wet and cold. When you first spawn inside the level, you'll start in the outer section, which is of course at the very beginning of the swirl. This is the part that you'll likely survive pretty easily because it stays around 32 degrees Fahrenheit or freezing, but it can get so unimaginably cold the deeper you go in that the lowest it's ever been is recorded to be negative 459 degrees Fahrenheit. And it's in those sections where stuff could get real dangerous if you're not careful. The most dangerous thing for humans here is frostbite because the level just gets colder and colder as you get deeper into it and you won't really realize how freezing you are until you're a human popsicle things like heat lamps and stuff have been tested to see if they work and anything that gets over 150 degrees just stops working and it won't ever work again it just turns itself off and doesn't turn back on another strange quirk of the level is that there's a bunch of elements in their liquid form on the ground here things like nitrogen helium oxygen and even liquid hydrogen have been found dripping from the ceilings and walls and puddling up on the floor obviously it's not really good to get these chemicals on your body or to breathe them in but since this level is drippy wet and closed in you have no other choice but to be exposed to them but whatever you do do not drink the liquid in the puddles on the floor because it's not water my friend it's chemicals there are these old looking rinky dinky crates that have been found in the level that seem to have some kind of supplies in them it looks like people left them here when they were trying to explore the level but they had to leave quickly and so they just decided not to pick them up on the way out sometimes in the crates there could be a cold suit or two or sometimes there could be food or supplies or weapons and that kind of deal which leads some people to believe that other groups of people or creatures have attempted to explore this level but have had to quickly leave what do you think comment below your theories on that like i've said this whole video the closer you get to the center part of the level the colder it gets and when you do start getting closer the ice will start to compact and get smoother and instead of the floor being rocky and soily it'll start to be completely like an ice rink the ceiling of the cave will have these huge bumpy icicles and sharp icicles in some spots above you and these icicles have fallen before and you definitely don't want to be under them since you don't want to get impaled by one. But when you're walking, make sure you look up to see that there's nothing above you. Now, almost no one knows what's actually close to the center of the level, since you literally instantly freeze if you tried to go with no gear. But someone did get pretty close to the center, and they said the air itself started to freeze. Like, all the liquid that's there freezes instantaneously in the air, which means it would be pretty hard to breathe. But the very core of the level has a large, open, circular room, and this room has been nicknamed the singularity supposedly only a handful of people have even seen the singularity and lived to tell the tale and they got here by using a huge puffer jacket thing that they found in a supply crate now the roof in this singularity is pretty strange because there's holes in it and it lets some kind of light in and it makes the entire room weirdly lit it's thought the room is like a vacuum in a way because it's absolute zero here like there's no temperature it's just so cold that it's absolute zero but who knows 
I wouldn't want to figure out. The entities in this level are actually pretty rare, and they can be found in the cave, and if you are seeing one, you're going to see one pretty far out in the caves. Death Wraths and Death Mots are pretty common as well, but each of them have a thick white fur on them instead of the usual brown color, so they must have adapted to this cold environment. There's also a pretty strange spider entity that lives in the center singularity of the level. There's no information about it, but people have seen it slowly and creepily crawling on the ceiling above them before. Okay! To enter the level, you can no-clip into a cold part of level 8's cave, or you can walk into a cavern on level 93 to be sent here. And to exit, you have to find a noticeably wide part of the cave that leads off into a more snowy calm tunnel, and then walk through that to get to level 57, which I'll be going over in tomorrow's episode, so stay tuned. That's it for the video. Thank you so much for watching until the end. I love and appreciate each and every one of you, and I cannot believe how amazing you all are. Hope you all are having a great winter break and getting ready for Christmas if you celebrate. Christmas is literally right around the corner. I hope you all are excited. Check below for the merch link if you want to grab some Brugly clothing. This drop is amazing. Really think you all will like this. Tag me on Twitter if you get some because I will follow everybody I see that tags me. I'm really excited to continue to drop more Brugly merch next year. This is the first one of many. Thank you so much for your support. Thank you so much for everything, and I'll see you in the next video tomorrow for day six of Brugmas. Peace.